Okay, we're comparing the IMAX 2000 and the uh, Mako 103C. Now the IMAX 2000 obviously is vertically polarized and the 103C is horizontally polarized. Right now on Antenna 2, that's the Mako 103C faced east. I'm here in California. There's the IMAX. Keep in mind, this is all DX. No stations are local right now, they're all DX. Looks like the signal is always either equal or better on the Mako. Channel that was channel 28 a.m. Go to this is channel six. In this case, the signal is about the same. Aside from Hawaii, I mean, pretty much all the stations that come in are to the east.
the conditions overall are dropping down right now. The best test, but you get an idea. Definitely DX, it seems that even vertical stations come in more clear. I think it comes down to maybe the signal doesn't improve all that much, but the noise level certainly goes lower on horizontal. So even if the signal strength doesn't increase that much, on the receive side, the, uh, the noise goes down, so there your signal's noise actually improves, and, and they still come in better. And then stations that are clearly horizontally polarized, they really do come in a few, uh, few dB stronger. So that's where it really shines when they're both horizontally polarized. At least that's what I've seen so far. Let me go back to... Uh, Go to channel six because there's not a lot of activity on 28. Yeah, right. Well, I wonder where you may. You come up and back up to the radio. Oh, I say, hey, fuck it down. The three don't know what I like that. I got the way that 2023 way. Three don't know you. There you go. So you can see the difference between having a vertical or a horizontal antenna. Of course, the, uh, the 103C has about 8 dB gain, so there's a little more gain as well. The Antron 99 has around 2 to 3 dBi. So, you know, it, it could be both the combination of more gain on the antenna and also the fact that the polarization is horizontal versus vertical. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video.